There are way too many IPS kits out there nowadays, and not all of them are great. There are so many that the IPS ready label doesn't mean shit anymore. And it doesn't help when retailers rarely have listings where they bundle mod kits with the correct shell. It's even worse when they don't even sell the matching shell to begin with. But today, I'm gonna try my best to clear up the confusion that all of these companies have caused. Here's Jake's Declassified Shell Survival Guide. Originally, I was going to go over all the shells in one video, and honestly, I think it's only necessary for the GBA and maybe the Game Boy Color. So today, we're only going to be covering the GBA, and if I do these for the other models, they'll be in their own dedicated videos. Let me know which model you'd like me to do next in those comments down below. Also, I'd like to add in here that almost every shell will work with almost every mod kit if you're willing to trim, with a couple exceptions. And thankfully, most of these listings have a picture guide on how to trim their shells for their kit. But the purpose of this guide is to show you how to find a shell that you can use with your mod kit that doesn't require you to whittle your brand new shell. I'm just gonna use the listings on Retro Game Repair Shop as references because I believe they sell all the kits and because you can use code Jake to save some money. Let's start with the basics. If the kit is a drop-in kit like the CGS kit or High Speed Edo's V5, it's gonna work in most any shell. They are made specifically to drop into original shells, AKA OEM shells, hence the name drop-in. And I'm talking the non-laminated versions of these kits. The laminated kits will only drop in if you have these specific shells for it. More on those later. So for the non-laminated drop-in kits, you can use your original shell or any OEM style aftermarket shells like these high quality ones here. These are made by Cloud Game Store and they genuinely are high quality. And I don't think I've ever tried to use a drop-in kit with an IPS ready shell, but I'm 99% sure it'll work. That way, if you wanted to use one of the cool UV print shells, you should be able to. Again, as long as it's not laminated. Those need specific trims for each individual laminated kit. The only problem is that you'll need an OEM sized lens. The glass itself is the same size, but the cutout for the screen is slightly different. Just look for OEM or original in the listing title or description. Also, this shell with the pop-out tabs exists, it'll work with pretty much every mod kit that's not laminated, and the only listing that will guarantee you get the style is on Funny Playing's website. Which, by the way, these are the ones you'll need for the non-laminated ITA kits. The V2 kits are the classic IPS screen from High Speed Edo and Funny Playing. These kits are what IPS ready shells were made for. So if it says IPS ready in the title for the shells or the lenses, that's for these kits. That also includes the Extreme Rate GBA shells. And these will also not work for any of the laminated kits out of the box. For those, you'll still have to trim them even more. Except for Funny Playing's laminated shells. The laminated IPS and ITA kits from Funny Playing force you to use their shells. Not to beat a dead horse, because who in their right mind would do that, you sick freak? But I think that these are the lowest quality GBA shells. And honestly, all of the GBA shells are pretty dang good. These shells are infuriating for many reasons. And if you want to know why, watch my IPS kit comparison video after this one. But with the way they made these shells, I'd be extremely impressed if you could trim a shell by hand to make it work with these kits. So hopefully you like the options that Funny Playing gives you, or else you should find another kit. At the time of this recording, the shells for these last two kits are not sold on RGRS or any other retailer site. You can buy these kits and follow the trim guides yourself, or you can look for the listings on AliExpress, which is always a cheaper alternative in general, with longer shipping times, iffy packaging, and a coin flip on whether or not you get good customer service. But when it comes to recommending things to you guys, I feel a lot more comfortable putting my name on companies like Retromodding, Z Labs, and RGRS. I literally put my name on them with code Jake. And if you do too, you can save some money at all those places. But I try to only link listings that I've personally used and had a good experience with. So hopefully Hopefully you don't have a bad experience, but I can't guarantee that. I will leave the links that I used to buy the laminated V5 and laminated CGS kits down below. Those listings will have options for bundles with kits and their pre-trim shells. Oh, and apparently you can get the laminated CGS kit in a metal shell bundle now on RGRS. I noticed that the other day and I probably should mention it here, but I think that covers every GBA shell and kit. This was probably the most confusing video that I've ever made, so I completely understand if you still have questions. And if you do, please leave them in the comments down below and I will try to answer all of them. If this video helped you out at all, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. And if you're still trying to figure out which mod kit you should buy, check out the ultimate IPS kit comparison video I made a couple weeks ago. So like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later guys. an eyelash in my eye. I just I have like two lines left. Come on.